One, two, one, two, and through and through the Vorpal Blade went snickersnack. Happy February 24th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 Quest Calendar by Sundial Games, the Leaf Riders of Renwood. Robert, in the comments yesterday, reminded me of one of my favorite poems, Jabberwocky, by Lewis Carroll. And uh, that's kind of the way things appeared to be going yesterday. Ivy just demolished King Rafex. His first attack nicked her for one point of damage, which took her down to seven. We were a little worried going into this fight. Um, but with two expert slashes and thrusts of her noble longsword, she cut the giant centipede down. But Rafex has some kind of magic staff that he used to heal himself, apparently completely, and he just smirked malevolently and skittered away into the darkness. So, not good. <laughs> not good at all. But, let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. Oh, good. I think we're, uh, I think we're headed back to the throne room. <clears throat> you navigate back through the tunnel to the entrance you climbed down. Several critters of the royal guard are working above to seal the hole. They are awaiting your return. Oh, good. I'm glad they're waiting for us to come back before they seal the hole. I'm um, looking for hidden icons. There is. Yep. We can pickpocket someone. <clears throat> and we don't have a... Uh, we do have a pet. We have a lightning bug. Okay, the way I've been playing this is... Uh, Ivy um, and Syl before her and a couple other characters. Not too keen on actually pickpocketing people, but if we have a pet, the pet, you know, is kind of curious, finds shiny things and bring them, brings them to us, and we have this um, lightning bug. We need a name for our lightning bug. It's a good name for a lightning bug. F flare. Or bulb. <laughs> bulb. D <laughs> Disco. <laughs> okay. Um... <laughs> That's okay. Disco it is. Disco. Disco the lightning bug. Um okay, so <laughs> I love it. Disco um where's our pickpocketing rolls? I think we roll a D4. Oh, here it is. Uh pickpocket. Um da, 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 da. if you spot this icon roll D4 to gain that much in amber on a result of 4, you also lose one virtue point. Um, but you can choose not to receive any amber. So if uh, if Disco brings back a full four amber, uh, we will identify the owner and return the goods to him or her so that we don't lose amber. And that, in fact, is what happens. I just rolled a four. Okay, so Disco <laughs> comes back with an armload full of amber. Um, and... Uh, and um, well, that's still in the image here. Uh, I just noticed. Anyway, uh, Ivy <laughs> takes the amber and returns it to its rightful owner. Um, somehow we identified who that. Oh, geez, now I lost. I lost Sil's page. What are we doing? Okay. Um, one, climb the tunnel. Roll D20 strength. Um, reminder, athlete. We get a plus two to athlete. Where did my page go? Here it is. Uh, scale the tunnel walls and make your way back to the surface. You must find handholds and footholds while avoiding loose rocks and unstable sections. We're going to ignore the fact that we're a bird and we should be able to just fly up there. Maybe our armor's too heavy, maybe the, maybe the hole's too narrow. Uh, so we're going to roll a d20, plus strength is 2, plus athlete is another 2. So, yep, 22. That was a, easy for Ivy. You ascend the tunnel with ease, swiftly maneuvering through the obstacles. Your agility and focus enable you to reach the surface quickly and without mishaps. Excellent. Step two, help seal the tunnel. Roll d20 plus constitution, which it's smudged, but that's a zero. And I don't think we have anything that can help us here. Danger sense, intimidating. Nope, it's just a straight up d20. Five, not so great. Uh, once back in the open, Captain Flint Clawthorn orders the Royal Guards to seal the tunnel to prevent further intrusion. Good idea. 
they've already found suitable materials and tools to close and re <coughs> excuse me reinforce the entrance your role is to work alongside them to support the sealing process um, there's no rest for Ivy who just single-handedly defeated King Rathex but you know we'll give it a shot and we rolled a five so we did not do well <clears throat> despite the captain's guidance you struggle to coordinate your movements effectively I think that means between each other uh, inadvertently hindering the guards progress your lack of synchronization leads to delays and setbacks in sealing the tunnel um, there's no real negative consequence there I guess there might have been a reward if we'd done that job well but uh, yeah I think that's it <clears throat> and that, my friends, is February 24th. So we shall say goodbye for today and visit Ivy again tomorrow. Uh, I hope you'll watch us. I hope, <laughs> I hope you'll join us. Uh, thanks for watching. Twas Brillig in the slivy toes did gyre and gimble in the wabe. All Mimsy were the borrow groves and the Momrass outgrabe. Beware the Jabberwock, my son, the jaws that bite, the claws that catch. Beware the Jubjub bird and shun the frumious Bandersnatch. He took his vorpal sword in hand, long time the manxome foe he sought. So rested he by the tum tum tree and stood awhile in thought. And as in uffish thought he stood, the Jabberwock with eyes of flame, came whiffling through the tulgy wood, and burbled as it came. One, two, one, two, and through and through the vorpal blade went snicker-snack. He left it dead, and with its head he went galumphing back. And hast thou slain the jabberwock? Come to my arms, my beamish boy. O frabjous day, kaloo kalay, he shortled in his joy. T'was brillig, and the slithy toves did gyre and gimble in the wabe. Almimsy were the borrow groves, and the momraths outgrabe.